Today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to test out a survival trap. The first trapping video I ever posted on YouTube several years ago was on a Native American trap called the Paiute Deadfall. That's a very effective trap at catching small animals, and the Paiute used it to feed their families. You see that trap used often on the survival shows. I've been watching the recent season of Alone in Mongolia, and they've been using it to catch mice. Well, recently a YouTube viewer sent me a link to a video on another style deadfall trap, very similar to the Paiute Deadfall, but I actually like the trigger system a little better. This trap was used in Taiwan by the indigenous people up in the mountains, and it seems like a really great design. If you want to learn more about the trap, it's called the Dongon Deadfall. I'll put a link in the description so you can see the video on where I learned how to build this trap, but we're going to test it out. First I'm going to show you how to build it, then we're going to go set it up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get a rat or mouse with the Dongon Deadfall. I collected all the items to build this trap. What's so great about making this deadfall is you don't need to bring any tools or supplies. You can go into nature with nothing and collect all the material you need to make a survival trap that will help you catch food. We're going to start with a stick. This has a Y in the middle, a thick base, and a thin side. There's five pieces to the trigger system and all five pieces can be carved from this one stick. To shape them we're going to use a rock. Here's a piece of obsidian. We'll knock off some flakes or rough tools. You can also use flint, chert, any sharp rocks will do. We have our deadfall rock here. I've used this on the Paiute deadfall. It's thick enough to catch squirrels and rats. It'll catch mice as well, but they're pretty flat at the end. And then we also need to make some cordage. My favorite plant for making cordage or string is this. This is dogbane. It has long, strong fibers. So we'll start stripping off those fibers, make some cordage, then shape the wood and build our trap. Harvesting the dogbane fibers is as simple as going to the base, lifting those up and stripping them off. Nice long pieces, we'll do that again. We'll just get a big bundle and then start twisting. In just a minute, we collected enough fibers from those three plants to make the cordage for our deadfall trap. To start, you take several strands and you twist it until it wants to double back on itself like this. You have a little loop. Then you pinch it with this hand and then do an overhand twist on either one and let it twist again on itself. Overhand, overhand, twist can start to see it forming. That's a really strong length of cordage, but we're gonna run out of fiber, it won't be very long. So before you do that, start feeding in new fibers. Let them get part of the twist that will lock them in place. You can continue adding fibers to make whatever length of cordage you need. I'll just do an overhand knot to finish it. And there's our cordage for a trap incredibly strong. Next we're going to carve the stick. To shape it we're going to make a basic stone tool, some blades from this obsidian. To knock off the flakes we just strike it with another rock. We're going to strike it down here and it will break like glass. There's a good tool right there. I'll make another one. There we go, that's perfect. Obsidian has the sharpest blades in the world, even sharper than a surgical scalpel. I'll just cut off both tops of the Y stick. Pretty quick and easy with the stone tools. This will be a post stick, so I'm going to cut it off right about here. Next we'll cut another stick about a foot long. The last three pieces are just short straight sticks. Take the thin trigger stick, untwist the cordage here on the end, and then put the stick in there. Then you twist it back together. That will hold it in place without a knot. Now we'll take our Y stick and our long stick and use that to prop up the deadfall rock. That will hold it up and when the back is released, it comes down. Now let's build a trigger system. Measure this trigger stick. Watch your fingers so you don't get smashed. We're going to take our trigger stick, wrap it around, then measure off. And tie the other end of the cordage around the back of the stick. The trap's now complete and we're ready to set it.
You put the bait here, the animal will come along, step on that, comes down and you got him. Now I can't use this trap out in the wild, so we're gonna go set it up in the barn with motion cameras, see if we can get an animal with the Dongon deadfall trap. This is exactly what I wanted to see this morning when I checked the trap. The stone is down and there's a tail sticking out. Now in this video, I'm not gonna lift up the rock and show you the dead rat. In the past, these types of videos have been age restricted and YouTube has even issued strikes on my channel. I think this is really important knowledge to have to know how to trap food in a survival situation. I wanna thank the YouTube viewer who taught me about this trap. I'll put a link to his channel down below so you can learn more. In a word of caution in making these traps, you wanna be careful. Unfortunately, when I was testing it out, I smashed my ring finger, my thumbnails almost grown out, and now I have to start the whole process over again for the next six months. My ring finger is gonna look nasty and bruised. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please consider hitting the button right there. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap videos a week. So if you wanna see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.